Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to log into Minecraft launcher. So when you try to log in, if you are receiving this error code that is 0x80072EFD. So the first step is to restart your computer and then try to log into Minecraft launcher once again. So just restart your computer and after the system restart, launch Minecraft launcher and then try to log in. But still you are receiving this error message. In that case, repair or reset Minecraft launcher, Xbox app and Microsoft store on your computer. So for this, type in Minecraft launcher in Windows search box and then make a right click on Minecraft launcher and then click on app settings. Now scroll down over here, you can see the repair option. So click on repair and after the repair, try to open Minecraft launcher and then log in. If the repair still after the repair still you're receiving the error message in that case, perform reset. So click on reset, reset. And after the reset, try to log into Minecraft launcher. Do the same thing with Xbox app. So type in Xbox app, make a right click on Xbox app, then click on app settings. Now it will open Windows settings and then again scroll down and here you can see the repair option. Click on repair. After the repair, try to log in. If that does not resolve the error message, then perform reset. So click on reset, a reset and after the reset, try to log in. Now do the same thing with Microsoft Store. So type in store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store. Then click on app settings once again. Again, it will open Windows settings and then scroll down and then click on repair. So scroll down and then click on repair and after the repair open Minecraft launcher and then try to log in. If that does not resolve the error then click on reset, reset after the reset open Minecraft launcher. Now the next step is to run WS resets command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. Click on it. Now this will open black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. So over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now you can open Minecraft Launcher and then log in. Now the next step is to close Minecraft Launcher. So if it is open, close it and then open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now open Minecraft Launcher and then try to log in. Now the next step is to make sure date time time zone is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. In Windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically. Make sure that is also on. And in Windows 11 select the right time zone from here and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. And after the sync make sure the right country is selected over here and then try to log in. Now the next step is to make sure gaming services and Xbox identity provider is installed in computer. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Click on install or open. Click on open Microsoft store and this will open Microsoft store and you will see Xbox identity provider over here. Now, if you see the get option or install option, install it. In my case, this is already installed. So there is no button in your case. If this is not installed, you will see the install option or get option. And then uninstall and reinstall gaming services. To uninstall gaming services, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Now type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. And once done, run the second command. So once this is done, now copy this command, paste it on the same window and then hit the enter key. Now this will open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now click on install to install gaming services. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, now you can open Minecraft launcher and then try to log in. Now, the next step is to delete Xbox Live login credential. For this, type in 
credential manager in windows search box and then click on credential manager now go to windows credentials and then scroll down now over here you will find xbl device key or xbl grts device key or both of them so you might see the xbl device key or xbl grts device key or maybe both so you have to go ahead and remove it so click on it and then click on remove click on yes now restart the computer now after the system restart open minecraft launcher and then try to log in now the next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set the startup type as automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services so at the end here you can see all the xbox services make a double click on each xbox services and then set it to automatic then click on apply click on start then click on ok again select automatic apply click on start then click on ok again automatic apply start and then click on ok so start all the xbox services now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services in the list make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click then click on start if it's already running then stop it and then restart it so make a right click then click on stop again make a right click then click on stop now restart the service make a right click then click on start again make a right click then click on start so make sure gaming services are running now find microsoft store install service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now open minecraft launcher and then try to log in now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming's uh, minecraft launcher for this type in minecraft launcher in windows search box and then make a right click on minecraft launcher then click on uninstall uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer now after the system restart you can open microsoft store and then type in minecraft launcher and then find minecraft launcher and then click on it and install minecraft launcher once again you can install it from xbox app as well now still you are facing the problem in that case uninstall minecraft launcher once again so type in minecraft launcher in windows search box make a right click then click on uninstall uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer and after the system restart copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser here you can see download for windows 10 and 11 click on download for windows 10 and 11 and download it run the exe file install it and then try to log in if that does not work then try download for windows 7 and 8 now this has worked for many users so if this version windows 10 and 11 is not working you can install windows 7 and 8 version of minecraft launcher so click on it and then run this file install minecraft launcher after you uninstall launcher then install it install windows 7 or 8 so once you install it you have to go ahead and uninstall it then after the uninstall restart your computer then download this windows 7 and 8 version run this file install it then try to log in now still you are facing the problem the last step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description so type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time now during this process you will receive some errors in red color so if you see any errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete now once done close this window now open minecraft launcher and you should be able to log into minecraft launcher without any error message so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel